Hi everybody. So look, check it. I'm I'm a person that deals with respiratory problems, asthma, and stuff like that. So I just want to show everybody how I would have a make a cake for myself and um not deal with like all the other things that because if I have butter, then I start getting congestion and then I start having wheezing and all this stuff. And I can't have gluten because it does the same exact thing. So this cake is from Aldi's. And if you are able to look at the I don't think you could do that, but I, if you're able to look at the ingredients, it is gluten-free, and it doesn't even say it on the on the cover. But I I checked it out because it has, it says it's made with xanthan gum. So basically, that's the rep, um, the replacement for gluten, I believe. So and and plus, I've had it before, and I don't have any. Um, effects and problems and whatever so today we're gonna make a chocolate cake and I'm gonna show you how I use plant butter okay we use plant butter because I cannot use butter because the congestion will cause me to have an asthma attack so I have to be super careful so come along with me and I'm gonna show you how I do my recipe the recipe calls for three eggs calls for three eggs and half a cup of vegetable um, vegetable oil so instead of that I got one stick of the plant butter we're gonna replace the oil um, for the plant butter and that's gonna be 30 I could do 30 seconds in an amount and that'll be half a cup and then for the eggs of course we're gonna use instead of three eggs okay instead of three eggs we're gonna use four and um, you'll see the moisture in the cake like go to another level than the water and of course again the Aldi's chocolate cake and I'm also going to show you how to make a plant-based um, ganache and it's going to be delicious so I got my olive oil spray here and I have my parchment paper um, over here so that it doesn't stick to the bottom and what I do here is spray the pot Very easy, fast cake making. Spray around the edges and just place this into the cake pan. See, ready to go, ready to go. And pour up into the middle, somewhere near the middle. You pour it to the middle, let it stop there. Boom. And so basically you have like a middle, okay? You have it in the middle, not too much because then it overflows. And we do the other one, same thing. Hit the sides. Make sure it's well oiled. Take your rounded six inch parchment paper. Make sure it's straight. Put it in the pot. Put it in the pan, excuse me, the cake pan. I've, I've done this cake and um, many, many times and it, it's amazing because it tastes so delicious and I don't have to deal with the effects of like dealing with um, like a very buttery cake and stuff like that and then like two days later I'm over here trying to get, you know, trying to breathe and, uh, and all this stuff because I had too much dairy, you know, because that's, that's the problem when I have a lot of dairy, it's, it's hard for me to... Um, to um, breathe because then it's like I, I can't deal with the congestion that's what basically happens to me so at this point we already poured a lot of the other cake into it so I need my little spatula so I can get the rest of it out and again you're gonna do half of the pan you gotta get it all in there you can't see what I'm doing but if you if you go a little bit seconds back you'll see what I did to the other pan and this one is ready to go in the oven see halfway halfway and I'll be back so to make the ganache what we're gonna do is I have the plant-based country crock plant-based heavy cream if you don't have this or you can't get it you can't find it at your um your Whole Foods or your um, Publix or wherever it is you shop or Walmart so what you're gonna do is you're gonna get coconut milk Okay, you get the coconut milk. So it's either one. So if you can't get this, you get this. Okay, and then again at all these, I went and got the almond bark. 
I don't know why they call it almond bark, but it's called almond bark. And you're going to chop this up. So right now I have the chopped chocolate. I chopped it up with the knife. I used the knife and I basically shaved down the knife. And then, and like, <laughs> and then <laughs> basically shaved down the knife. Okay, and then, so I'm just going to go like this. with the Remember, plant-based heavy cream. I'm going to use a whole cup. Hopefully it's not uh, stale milk or uh, stale plant milk. So I'm going to use a whole cup of that, and we're going to microwave this and the chocolate together. So here the, the heavy cream and the chocolate is all melted, as you can see. We're going to make sure we're going to blend it all in and make sure that the, all the lumps are all gone. And then we're going to put this in the refrigerator, and we're going to let it get, you know, very solid. And then the next step is coming. Come back. So the ganache is now at a very um, stiff state. As you can see, we put it in the fridge. It took like about about four hours to, to get to this level. So now we're going to whisk it. We got the blender right here and we're gonna whisk it. That's funny. <laughs> So I'm back with the finished result, and this is how it came out. It didn't come out the way I wanted it, okay? It came out a little bit too soft, but the end result is that I poured it all over the cake and let it freeze in the freezer. And here's your dairy-free um, plant butter ganache, chocolate ganache cake. Like and subscribe.